as soon as I turn the camera on, my kids just start fussing and fighting. Just figures. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mandy and this is Sweetly Home. It has been a hot minute since I have put together a video for you. Um, and it's been a hot minute since I've actually recorded anything that has to do with organization. So for me, organization is like one of those things that just uh, makes me feel so zen. <laughs> I don't even know what that means, but it just really makes me feel so good. And when my world feels stressful, I organize something. So we recently sort of had a shift in our kitchen. Um, we started preparing foods differently, the things that we were bringing into our home were a bit different, um, lots more bulk, loose items, things that we would get at the bulk food store, different flours and um, beans and different things like that that were loose, I guess. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, and so it caused a bit of a rift in my pantry organization because I purchased all of these like glass containers and they didn't go with my pantry system. So I need to rework on that. But I also needed to switch some other cabinets. It's kind of like a ripple effect. Um, one thing that we stopped doing recently was drinking coffee. I haven't really drank coffee in about two months. And so I just, I didn't need my coffee pot to be where it was. It's in a cabinet. Um, that I could just pull down every day because I just didn't want it on my, my counter. Um, and we had extra cups and we were going through some of the foods that I canned in the summer. So we had like empty mason jars. We just were coming up against like a lot of stuff. And so I wanted to switch out a couple of cabinets. Previously, I had actually shared with you how I had organized those cabinets. So I will leave a link to that video up above. Um, and I kind of switched things up and I'm going to share with you what I did. So this isn't an entire organizing video. You're not really going to see me the, doing the process. I'm going to show you the before and then I'm just going to walk you through the after because I was doing it during dinner time and it was crazy. So anyways, let's get into the video. Okay, so here is the cupboard. So I have... Our vitamins here these are my vitamins and the kids vitamins I also have our coffee pot and our Bodum coffee pot um, I am just not having coffee anymore and neither is my husband so having it here on this shelf is just taking up valuable space um, up above I have a bunch of mason jars and then a pitcher on top so my hope is to make this more of the coffee cupboard, um, coffee and tea cupboard, I guess I should say, and rearrange things, move the coffee pot up and put some of the coffee cups down here on this shelf and also place all of the tea and things like that in the cupboard. If you see the smoke, it's just my diffuser here. So this is the cupboard with all of our glassware. We've got um, some matching coffee mugs here. We actually have eight of them, but um, two of them are up in our overflow storage. Um, basically, they're for if we have a lot of people over. Um, and then these are our everyday mugs. They are actually too deep. And then we have a couple of travel mugs in the back and then just some of our glasses that we use for water. And then, to be honest, we rarely use these cups up here. Um, we've got mason jars and some larger glasses here. I mean, they're all kind of mismatched. These, there's four right here, um, and they are all matched. I did have four of these kind, but we broke one. Behind these are some stemless wine glasses that we never use. I think maybe we've used them twice. And then up above, I have some more mason jars. Those came in a set with um, straws and chalk. The kids actually have four of them down in their kid cupboard, and they're using them on an everyday basis. So we've got a ton of glasses, um, and it's just way too many for what we actually use. So somehow I'm going to consolidate these two cupboards and create something new. 
So this is the cleaner that I'm going to use when I clean out the cupboards. Um, this is just On Guard. This is a doTERRA concentrate and it is a completely natural cleaner. Um, I just added a bit of water to a couple tablespoons of the concentrate, whatever the instructions were, I followed <laughs> the directions to a T. Um, and then I have a microfiber cleaning cloth. This is from Fly Lady. These things are absolutely amazing. Oh my goodness. Um, I got them on a really good sale and they clean amazing. Love it. So I'm going to use these two in a combination to clean out my cupboards. So here is how the coffee cupboard turned out. It turned out perfect. I'm so happy. Um, the coffee cups fit great. So this little shelf came from the dollar store. It's something that I already had on hand. Um, and I, the coffee mugs are six there's six on the top and there's six on the bottom they fit perfect so easy and the reason I wanted these coffee cups over here is because it made just made more sense um, when we make scrambled eggs I we often reach for a coffee cup to whisk up the eggs in um, where this area is in the kitchen it's right next to the stove it's right next to the silverware and it's right next next to the whisks so Easy peasy lemon squeezy. It's all just right in this area now. We don't have to go to the other side of the kitchen to grab a coffee mug. Um, I did go ahead and adjust the shelf because previously the coffee pot had been, you know, down here. So I adjusted the shelf and stuck the coffee pot on the next shelf. This is also the area where I decided to move the tea. So we're not huge tea drinkers, but we do have tea. There are people in our lives who love tea, and every once in a while, you want tea. So I have these clear containers that I picked up from HomeSense um, about a year ago, and this was where all the tea was originally, in these clear containers. Um, I just decided to move them from the pantry into this cupboard because it made more sense. Um, where we brew the tea, um, like the hot water and all that, is right here at the stove, so it makes sense. I'm not running across the kitchen to get tea. On top in the mason jars, um, on the left is our ground coffee that we have, and on the right is some matcha powder, and I just have stuck those on top. I can actually reach up there fairly easily. Um, I'm, I am on the shorter side, but um, I can I can reach that well. So on top, we just have the bottom. We never use the bottom, um, but we are not in a place where we want to get rid of it yet. And then we also have the empty space next to it. So I don't know what I'm going to put up there yet, but it's nice to just know that I have room to grow if I need anything else. And this is how this cupboard turned out. Okay, so here we are in the glasses cupboard. So I ended up getting rid of a bunch of glasses. So on the bottom here, I've got some of our mason jars. These can also double as glasses. So there are three that go, there are three jars deep. Um, and these are the glasses that I ended up keeping. We have four. Um, and then we have these smaller little mason jars as well. On the side here, I've just placed our to-go coffee cups. We have these ones from Starbucks. They're about like a dollar or two, um, and I absolutely love them. And then there's just one behind, but these are easy to kind of reach for if we need um, a to-go cup. That's where those are. And then on the next shelf, I do have another small shelf and then some more mason jars. So I've got um, some half pints and pint jars and more blue half pints and then my quart mason jars up here on the top. Now in this spot um, we also have a couple big large plastic cups that we use for drinking. They're actually dirty right now. Um, and then I have another glass, a larger glass for like water. And then behind I've got some plastic mason jars. These are great for the freezer and the lids are just stacked on top. So these are all easy to reach. And then on the top I went ahead and I put um, the mason jars, these have straws with them, so my kiddos are using four of them in their kid cupboards, but I have another four up here. We, If we have like a party or something and we want to get fancy, I have them up here. Next to it, I also have the wine glasses. Um, again, we just really never use them, so it just makes sense to put them way up there. And then I did keep one um, 
stemmed glass. So lots of glassware, most of it is a lot of mason jars. Um, I do plan to do a lot of canning this year, um, but I love all the clear and the blue. I think it's so pretty, but that is how this cupboard turned out. So there you have it, a little bit of organization. So today I'm actually going to work on switching out my pantry. It's gonna be a big job. I'm gonna do a pantry inventory and I'm going to reorganize it. The system has worked so good for so long, but it's not right now, so I need to refigure it. And it's like a deep pantry, so it's hard to organize. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in my next video, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.